Hello and welcome to TC Josh, my name's Luke and Zero, we're back at it again, once again with some Union Arena, and today I'm going to do just a couple, three deck lists of uh, Hunter Hunter decks that I have personally just built and am going to be playtesting this week, hopefully Wednesday, sometime, we'll see. But yeah, if you guys are interested, don't forget to like and subscribe, let me know what are some decks that you are interested in playing and what are your builds kind of looking like, uh, don't forget to put them down below, but until next, but until then... Let me just go over my quick list. So, I have blue slot, specific slot. Um, I personally, I've seen a lot of people's builds. They all look really good. I've seen people, you know, adding a couple too many of this. Angel's Breath, I don't really care for the card. Not a lot of people really liking uh, the risky dice, which I kind of get. I understand it. Uh, especially if you build it without this guy, you really have no way of kind of reliably seeing the top card so it's more of just showing it in your hand to get your effects off for your your Killua's, your Gones, and your Bisky uh, to pop things, draw, stuff like that. So I kind of get it. Uh, that's why I incorporated him just so that way he could kind of have some use. Um, he's also 3k, pretty good. Um, but yeah, I wanted to make sure that this actually did something because it's kind of a nutty removal guard, but it's also really terrible. Um, the buff is okay. It's not going to really do much. I mean, it'll help you in the uh, purple killable match, which I will get into. But outside of that, it's not really like you can get rid of stuff like small things if you want, if people push them out. But it's just it's whatever. Um, uh, I didn't know that this cat was a specific slot. Uh, or a specified slot um, until I was looking through it and I was like oh I'll just add it in there it's just a one of so that way hey you got it in uh, got it on there so you can add it back and stuff Bisky helps with adding it back but I also had Bisky in there just so that way we could kind of reuse these two uh, these three technically if we needed them this probably not so much but this if like we ever decide to use it or if uh, we put him out and he gets destroyed and everything sideline so that way we could add the card uh, i had the bisky there just for that and it's a zero we needed some more zeros only at eight now i have 10 i feel 10 is still really low so i might try to add some more space in there for it but this is kind of just what my list is looking like we got the four of you know the the gone searcher the uh, gone drawing has double damage or impact the kill has double damage you know pretty standard run-of-the-mill ones that you have i had it added uh, uh Ida in there so that way i have another one because i didn't have a lot of one cost one drops in there i had gones but this gone is not the best um he's really the combo would be more of like adding frisky dice to him so you get more buffs and stuff it's just not that great personally uh it's a great card to add the the impact but it's too difficult to get all of it off if you're not just building specifically for it. So this is what my list is kind of more looking like. Uh, next, we're going to go into uh, Purple Phantom Troop. Love this deck. So much fun. So much BP reduction and everything. It's just that this deck um, hard loses to uh, Hitsugaya uh, Karapi, or um, not Karapika, Hitsugaya uh, Kempachi because the Kempachi that's not the big two cost one can't be be pre-reduced so it's a struggle to um ever remove that card off the board actually you can't you just can't remove it because you can't bp reduce it that's the only problem with this deck's uh whole entire engine is that it just relies on bp reduction so if you play into that deck with this deck you just hope that you get your alumis out as fast as you can do all the double damage I hope you get in some uh, Krolos so that way you can do impact and stuff and just take as much life as you can. Like you hope that you high roll. Otherwise the deck is going to beat you in the long run because they can just play three, four of those uh, uh, Kempachis and you're just going to lose. But um, the only thing, I don't think that I'm doing really anything different besides I'm going more focused on just the Phantom Troop stuff. I do have a couple of uh, the Zoldic family cards in here. Um, this it's treated as Lumi because we only had the three cost as that so now we have six targets for our raid Lumis instead of just four um, Got the Killua. This card actually is kind of 
nutty. It helps the deck out a lot because all of a sudden now you have a 4k that you can promote to the front line if after you do all of your raiding and stuff. It's really good. Um, it helps with the combo of like him and him getting a draw and removal. You draw so many cards in this deck, it's ridiculous. Um, but yeah, hard countered by Green Hits Gaia. Uh, I know from experience played against it like three or four times, I think I won one match out of it. Yeah, I'm gonna try and see if there's any way to build it besides, you know, obviously playing this guy instead or this uh, uh, removal instead. But it's going to be a lot of changing up of the cards. Personally, not the biggest fan of that. I know I've seen a lot of people's decks not running this. I like this card just as a draw. This might be a card I might cut and maybe switch a little bit into the, um, like a half Zoldic, half uh, uh, Phantom Troop stuff so I can run the Dragon Head removal card just for that mirror match uh, potential. But I, I it's going to take testing. Um, and hopefully I'll get some of that on Wednesday, but yeah, this is my build for right now. I'll update it later on. And finally, last but definitely 100%, not at all least, Karapika. I played this this weekend. It was not a completed deck. I was missing one Karapika, and I was missing two of the five cost Karapikas, but I feel like the only issue I have with this deck, even at full power, um, because a lot of people don't play this gun at all, the searching going to look for it, um, is that this deck, I feel like I never find this, and if I do, I don't have the energy for it, um, so I added Netero in there, so that way I'd have more energy, more reliable energy sources, at a two cost, I love it, uh, so much better than putting, I've seen people put three or four, uh, Bashos in there, I don't care for it as much, I feel like three is too much, to get a double energy generation, I'd rather just have Netero out. I might honestly swap them. Um, the only thing keeping him from is that he's a 3k and he has step. That's really the only thing keeping it from me. I don't really care about it having the step personally. Um, like, I have no problem just hard dropping the Karapikas in the front. If you want to waste it, uh, a removal, there's, there's 12, 15 Karapikas in the deck. Remove the zeros, the twos, it's fine, it's whatever. Um, I'm thinking about putting Leorio up more. I did not expect this card to be as pivotal a card as it is. The extra draw, because people don't want to block because obviously it gains, in, it gains impact, is ridiculous. And it helps trigger this Karapika so much. I had this had two Karapikas out and it every turn, just turning it on so you have a 3k with impact was insane and it helped a lot because i didn't have four of these karapikas and i wasn't <laughs> wasn't seeing neons often enough this card is nutty i don't know how they printed this card i don't understand why this card is a card this card is ridiculous because uh i can just play it and there were so many times that i played it found the karapika and just well put karapika out snipe it was like turn three I was able to get her out, and I'm like, I don't want to put them out right now, though. I'm just going to add them in my hand, have them for next turn when they promote something, and just swing with the little guy right now. That's a lot of the times what I was what I was doing. Um, it's just, yeah. Uh, I really love this deck. I feel it, it really is just a consistency match. That is the only problem with it, is that you not finding Karapika or Neon... Um, is really the problem with this deck and the fact you don't have any just pure dedicated hard removal without putting like uh the other kilowa the four cost kilowa that has uh two action points in there like i there's no there's no just hard removal besides just his snipe and the uh emperor time snipe effect really like those are the only things and that's only Eight removal cards on specific targets only is the problem too and I just don't feel like it's that's good enough personally like I would rather this just say it removes a card besides it being a trigger that's the only thing I don't I feel like this deck is kind of missing um, but obviously I didn't play it at full power so who knows um, so but personally for me this is just my build. This is how I think we should be running it.
uh, I will have more testing for it. And I hope you guys enjoyed. And I hope you guys have been really enjoying this game as well. Uh, I'm going to try and get to hopefully 100 subscribers soon. And if you're watching this, thank you very much for watching all the way through. Um, I, as soon as I do that, I'm going to try and do a giveaway on some super pre-release decks, maybe boxes, who knows, we'll see. Uh, but I appreciate all of you watching and coming to enjoy my content. I appreciate it so much. And if you could, please hit like and subscribe. But until next time, keep collecting shiny cardboards, keep collecting shiny cards, and I will smell you later.